Hello, this is Paul Dumas with Optimize Local Search Services. I'm going to review the basic usage of the All-in-One Event Calendar plugin for WordPress. It's a beautiful plugin that allows us to display upcoming events right on the sidebar or widget area of our WordPress website. So to manage these type of events, we actually log into our WordPress site. So here we are in the dashboard of a new site that we have going here. The All-in-One Events Calendar is actually managed through a separate tab of its own up here called Events. So if I want to take a look at what events are already in there and perhaps edit or learn more about the specific events, as I move my cursor around, I have the option of editing these types of events. So I'm going to go ahead and edit this event. Each event, we have a title for that event. So we can set that out to be the top line anywhere it shows in the calendar. Down here, some additional details about the event. So anything related, you know, if you had to create a brochure for the event or give some additional details, this would be a place to put it. We can insert images and links and all kinds of information here. Down here, scroll down a little bit here below the event details. Down here, we can set all of the details about the event. I can make it an all-day event. I can set the date and time of the event, even start and finish time. If I have an event that happens on a repeating basis, I can click here and have the options to have this event repeat automatically on a daily, weekly, by day of the week, monthly, by say I have something every month on the 15th, or even annually. If I do that, I can have this event, for instance, repeat every Tuesday. I set this, have it end after, say, three times. So basically what that'll do is it'll automatically copy this event and add it to this particular Tuesday and the next two Tuesdays for a total of three times. So I don't have to sit there and copy all the details and create events that are happening on every week basis anyway. Down below here, we've got some event details, including the cost. This happens to be a free event, so we can put that in there. If you have an event that requires any additional registration or RSV type information, we can actually put the contact info here in terms of the name, the phone, and email. Once I've added all the information for this particular event, I can update it. That actually publishes the event live right now. So if I want to view what my changes are or take a look at how visitors can see it, I can go up here and click on View Events, and it'll take me right to my own site where the event is listed. So here we have our title, our date and time that the event is going to occur, the venue where it is, our cost is free. Down here is the additional details, kind of the brochure section here. We've kept this pretty basic, but if you had images and more information, it would simply stretch the screen down. Here's our map so people can get directions to the event. And then, of course, anytime there's an event in here, the plugin automatically creates a full screen calendar page. So here I can go through and click on and see what's coming up on kind of a broader view. If I click on a particular event, it takes me right to the page for that event. If I want to create a new event, it's remarkably similar to editing an existing event, except for the fields are empty. So I can go back to my dashboard here, go to events, and add a new event. Here's our new event page, so I can literally create a title for that event, put any additional details, brochure type things here, come down here and tell people when the event's going to occur, start and finish time, or an all-day event put my venue name in and address if I want. Purely optional here, but it's kind of handy to have a Google map to give people an idea where it is. If there's a cost to the event, or in particular if it's free, go ahead and indicate that. If there's any kind of details for the name, phone, and email where people need to contact for extra questions or to register, we want to go ahead and do that. Once we have all the new event details here, we click on the blue publish button and that event is added to the calendar immediately. Now there's various settings in terms of the calendar that we can mess with to kind of change how it looks and whatnot. Right now we have this calendar where it will show the next four events. This is basically, we did four just from a standpoint of cosmetics. If you do more events, you could do as many as you want. It'll simply stretch out and have more events down here. And it can make the site look a little odd if you have 100 events showing and stretching down the sidebar and a bunch of empty space below your pages. But if we want to make changes to the actual settings for the plugin overall, under the events tab here we have the settings so in here we've got different things the calendar page we can have it you know change where that page points to we don't normally change that but we can right now we have an actual page called calendar the default view is the month so that's where you see all 30 days at once you can change that where it will show just a listing of events or you can show the next week the month usually is the best one for kind of giving people an overview you can establish when your week starts in the u.s usually our calendar starts on a sunday here it says agendas page shows at most four events. That's where we could change. If I want to change that to five or one, it, it would affect how many events show there on the home page and then the sidebar. There's different options here. We've got how do we want our calendar display? We want to go ahead and have it displayed in US format since this website is for US visitors. 
And as we change these different settings, I can obviously update the settings and it will populate those changes throughout the entire calendar. And that's basically it when it comes to using the all-in-one event calendar plugin. Pretty basic, pretty simple. Gives you kind of a beautiful display where we, users can go in and see what's going on and what you've got coming up for your organization. If you have any questions, visit our website at optimizedlocalsearch.com and I'd be happy to help you out. I appreciate you watching the video.